Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Jaspie's nine box off-season baseball mixer random team break number two. The only difference from this one and random team break number one was that uh, first edition box, this time we're doing a draft box. Everything else is the same, uh, the same year, same box, same configuration. Big thanks to, nobody, <laughs> I didn't write to get everyone's name in there. Big thanks to this group right here, bam. Big thanks to Ron. Killing a lot of spots there. Thanks to this group up here as well. Appreciate you. Alex, Matt, Roy, Karen, Chris, Sean. Thank you. Congrats again to the people who won spots in the holiday box, mega box filler that we had to do. Matt, Ron, Josh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Probably did not put baseball team. I did not. Big thanks to, wait for it, the baseball teams. The baseball teams are here. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams. Two and a three, five times for names and teams. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, and a two, four, and five. Got Matt down to Ron. And then two and a three, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, we got the A's down to the Halos. Now there will be a trade window, but just keep in mind all the different years that we have in here all the different product, et cetera, et cetera, before trade at your own risk. Matt, you got the A's. Ron, Pirates, Royals, Dodgers, Karen, Cardinals, Ron, Rockies, Matt, Reds, and Orioles, Ron with the Twins, uh, Sean with the Rangers, Alex with the Red Sox, Ron with the Astros, Matt with the Rays, Josh with the Brew Crew, Ron with the Guardians, White Sox, Yankees, Mets, Roy with the Braves, Ron with the Nationals, and the Phillies, Tigers, Blue Jays, Diamondbacks, and Mariners, all for you. Chris with the Marlins, Ron with the Giants, Padres, Cubs, and Angels. It's uh, alphabetized by team. We're gonna pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we'll see if uh, we'll see if Ron makes any deals. So stick around. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, but the list here remains the same. Here on Wednesday, the twentieth, Hump Day. Thanks everybody for getting in on the action. There's the official list right here. Ron with that last spot mojo, Pirates. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Let's make myself a little room up here. Pirates could be interesting when we get to this box, Ron. But we're gonna go back in time to 2020, Bowman Draft, first edition. Forget who's in this class, but I guess we'll. we'll it's like it's going through these cards. I'm sure it'll it'll jog our memories. It's also interesting to see. I guess 2020. Enough time has passed by where we kind of know. Hey, the the people that we were chasing in 2020 might not be the same people we're chasing uh, here in 2023. Which is, in my opinion, the great thing about you know. I know a lot, not a lot of people are baseball prospectors. So like in Bowman Draft or that Bowman up there, people are just like, eh, not sure who I'm chasing. But, you know, a number of years later, it's always fun to kind of revisit previous years. You see different people start to emerge. And especially in this 2020 class, we should start seeing some of the, some of the guys that were maybe in college start to be, start to, Challenge for some big league time, maybe some ahead of the curve high school prospects we're probably seeing right now as well. But a lot of these guys from 2020 still should be in the early part of their career. So there's still some good prospecting value here. It's just that now that they have the minor league seasons under their belt, we can, we can now start to see Maybe some separation between the different prospects. Obviously, hitting prospects are generally do better on the secondary market than their pitching counterparts. 
All right, and here we go. A lot of color here so far. We got Thomas Sagacy first first. These aren't numbered. Clayton Beater should be one of the Dodgers, one of their many pitching prospects coming up the ranks. There's Luis Gill, gold. I'm not sure, I'm not too familiar with this player right here, but we'll see. Let's see if he starts to make a little noise. through this here. Jared Schuster starting to get more major league work, right? There's Miguel Amaya. Looking for first firsts. There's Ronnie Mauricio, that's numbered. To uh, 150, that'll be for the Mets, that's gonna go to Ron. And yeah, Pete Crow Armstrong, first, first. That's also for run. He's on the Cubs now, Pete Crow Armstrong. Yeah, this is even better. I think he got some, did he have a cup of coffee last year? He's supposed to be a big deal, so let's keep an eye on, on him this season. We got a Reed Detmers, first, first, orange, 18 out of 25. Nice Angels, up and coming pitcher. Ron, nice orange. Throw a no hitter. He has no hitter under his belt. Some good upside for him. Find some other names that are a little more familiar. That's just first edition. Uh, Robert Hassel is supposed to be pretty good. Tyler Brown, yellow parallel to 75. That'll be for Ron and the Strohs. Robert Hassel, first, first. Volpe's just first ish, not first, first. There's Corbin Carroll, it turned out to be pretty good. Cody Hosey, gold to 50. Nick York to 150 for Boston. That will be for Alexander. That's a first first. 
he's supposed to be, yeah, he was a first round pick. So let's see, if, I'm not sure if he's made it to the majors or not, but we'll see. Maybe soon. Any one of these youngsters could have a could have a breakout season. That's a first first. Spencer Torkelson, nice. And a Heston Kirkstad, first first edition, bone first. Oriole, it's gonna be for Matt Lieber, and this Torkelson will go to Ron. Former number one overall pick. I feel like he had a rough rookie year, but I think his second year was last year, right? I think his second year was a lot was a lot more promising. There's Matthew Dyer to 150. Let's check out some Ben Baller. Jump ahead to 2022. Ben Baller, 2022 class. Anything crazy happening in the uh, in the baseball world? I think everyone's just waiting for uh, just waiting for Yoshinobu Yamamoto to to figure out where he wants to go. This is some very smaller, much smaller deals happening here. Maybe Mets picking up a couple guys from the Brewers. Jack Flaherty signing a one-year deal. Pirates re-signing Andrew McCutcheon. We kind of saw that. So nothing really too crazy. No word on this. The Bellinger market seems to be very quiet. There doesn't seem to be very many rumors, speculation, not too much of that out there. Corbin Burns downplays possibility of signing extension. He wants to test the free agent market in a general sense. Seems to be what he's implying. I guess he is a Scott Boris client. Those guys usually don't do a don't do a trade and then do an extension. Other other, uh, other agents don't mind doing that, do they? Hey, if you if we get traded, we'd love to see an extension. Gonna make that known. All right, Ben Baller, 2022 edition. 
Not all boxes of these Ben Baller have uh, autographs, but maybe we'll be lucky enough to stumble into one. There's Pete Alonzo, 19 out of 99 for Ron and the Mets. These die cuts are pretty cool. There's Mookie Betts. Some of those could be numbered as well. Uh, Luis Gill to 25. Nice low number there. Yankees, Ron. The Bronx Bombers. There's Brian Anderson. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, there he is, Corbin Burns. We're just talking about him. Josiah Gray. There's Whit Merrifield to 75 for the Royals. Also for Ron. Royals edition. And we do have an autograph. Nice, it's rookie Bryson Stott. Nice on-card autograph. Believe he had a, did he have a grand slam the NLCS? That's some nice playoff moments. That's Ron with the Phillies. Four out of 25 on that one, Ron. Nice. Rookie auto, always nice to get a rookie auto out of this stuff. There's Tyler Glass now, is now with the, is now with uh, my Dodgers. Coming back home. There's Ryan Mountcastle to 75, and a Mike Trout right and low insert. There's Andrew McCutcheon, Phillies edition to 50. Now let's go back in time again to 2020, back to 2020 Bowman. Regular edition. Hobby box, one auto a box. Got all card chip. We'll be getting all of these. Once we get the base heavier stuff out of the way, then we can start getting into the fun stuff like museum collection, tops chrome black, tier one, probably close with immaculate. Yeah, that thought auto is awesome, Ron. I agree. Right on the card, too. Some decent penmanship there. Never know with the young guys these days. You know, emerging, seems to be emerging as a, as a big part of that Phillies lineup. Regarding Yamamoto, who I think is kind of holding up the free agent market a little bit, apparently a decision could happen this weekend. We, we, we might know by Friday or Saturday. I think, from what I understand, they, anyone who, who is part of this posting process from, from the Japanese league, once they do all that, then there's like a very small window for negotiation. I think the, the deadline for him to make a decision is by January 1st, January 4th, I think, something like that, after the new year, just a little bit after the new year. And so if, um, if, they, uh, if he doesn't agree to any, I think he goes back and plays in Japan, I think. When I see today, he's like, eh, 
Yeah, he's like, I don't, I don't like any of these offers. Here's an Aros Arena rookie card for the Cardinals, Karen. So, yeah, I mean. I mean, the reason why he's filtering it out is because he wants to be here, right? I mean, he's probably yeah. going to pay more money than you. Just tons, there, right? tons more. That's what I'm saying. So, it'd be kind of dumb for him not to decide on it. Tons more. But he is taking his time, right? You know? I think people said before Christmas, though, is what they're hoping. Yeah. But who knows? Must be really tough, right? Let's just like, ah, where do I want to live? Man? Where do I want to live? Where do I want to play with? Who are my future teammates going to be? What manager I'm working for? General manager? I honestly, yeah, that's the thing. I would take my time too, honestly, especially I, coming from like Japan and a different country. Yeah, right? yeah. Imagine if you were going to work in a different country, but you're going to yeah. make a ton of money. Like, ooh, nice Dustin May rookie autograph. Coming off arm surgery, might see him in the, in the middle of the summer. Ron with my Dodgers. Nice. I think I want to say I got maybe I can dig up this article. Where I rip open some jumbo packs here. Here's Casey Mize to one fifty. I think there was a uh, an article in the Athletic. I was talking about um, how he has sort of a quirky workout process. And so I guess teams would have to understand that process as well. You know, are there teams, medical staffs who are gonna, are they gonna, I don't know. Maybe you don't, maybe you wanna have a little extra freedom. Maybe he's like, hey, do I have that freedom with the medical staff, with the training staff? Could I do something a little different? Is that okay? There's a Volpe first. Yeah, we're hoping, yeah, another fire auto run. We're hoping that uh, Dustin May comes back strong and maybe provide some mid-season uh, mid pitching boost for the Dodgers. My guess is that the Dodgers are probably going to sign or trade for another I mean, they might get Yamamoto. They might still go after another, trade for another pitcher. If they don't get Yamamoto, they'll probably trade. In that case, I mean, they might, they could deploy Dustin May as sort of a long reliever. They might try to stre stretch him out. So there could be a lot of different options. A lot of Dodgers pitchers coming off of some kind of injury, so. Walker Buell is coming off there. So might be might be guys with a lot of pitch count type stuff happening. So could use some longer relief guys for the Dodgers. Yeah, we'll see how it works out. Spring training still a little ways away. Nice Jason Dominguez. That's right, he's in this. That's his Bowman first Chrome card. Yankees, Ron. Ooh, yeah. We're getting to that box next. <clears throat> if we're lucky enough to get a, a Skeens Auto out of just a single box and a mixer, that would be pretty, pretty nice. It's George Springer to four ninety nine. Yamamoto article is really interesting. It's worth a Yama, Yama. Yama. 
Oh no, it was the ESPN article. <clears throat> I'll just read you, uh, oh, you're an LSU guy. Nice, Ron. Yeah, hopefully he does well. I know that, I know pitchers don't sell as nicely as their, as their hitting counterparts, but Skeens might be, might be a different cat. So this was a Jeff Passan article on ESPN on December 18th. I mean, it's a long article. I'm not going to read you the whole thing, but, but it's, it's worth a look. The headline is how Yoshinobu Yamamoto became baseball's most coveted free agent. And Jeff Passan, this was published on the 18th. Today is the 20th, so a couple days ago. So it's a good lead. Yoshinobu Yamamoto's bag of tricks is an actual bag, Jeff Passan writes. Inside it, he carries a yoga mat, wooden blocks, tiny soccer balls, and mini javelins. When he's ready, the 25-year-old Yamamoto lays out the yoga mat, arches himself to a backbend, pretzels his body with the precision of a contortionist. He lifts himself into, into headstands, corkscrews his hips and legs, pushes up into handstands, walks on his palms toward a wall against we can, which he can lean and balance on one hand. He steadies himself on the blocks to get, to, to get the feel of his body's positioning. And when he's done with that, he stands up and chucks the size one soccer ball into a wall to warm up his right arm. Then he heads to the field to fling the javelin to distances inconceivable to his teammates who try to replicate the practice and chuckle at their comparative ineptitude. None of this is the typical training regimen for a pitcher, for most athletes, athletes really, but particularly not in baseball, a paint by numbers sort of sport that sneers at anything out of the ordinary. But there's room for independent thinkers, for those who dare to try something different, but it comes with a prere prerequisite, greatness. And he's the only guy that's been, has what, earned the right, winning all those awards in Japan to, to do that. So the article, article goes on, blah, 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 blah. Um, also, Yamamoto does not lift weights. So anyway, that's a taste of, of, of the interestingness of, of Yamamoto. So how many teams are being like, oh, you don't lift weights in a sport where everyone's like, you're kind of small. <laughs> There's a Paul Skeen's paper for Ron and the Pirates. So the Yamamoto experience could be very interesting on his start days. You know, a lot, a lot of, a lot of teams out here are gonna be like, with all the strength and training guys, are gonna be like, you're not gonna lift. I mean, maybe he changes his, his tune, in the off season after a full season in in Major League Baseball, but for now, is it a if it's not broke, don't fix it sort of situation? There's Luke uh, Schilder. For the Giants, that's going to be for Ron with one of the spots he won in the filler. There's a Wyatt Langford for Texas. That's going to be for Sean. So Jumbo has three autos. We found one already. Wyatt Langford. Chrome Paul Skeens. Jacob Wilson's supposed to be pretty good too. Matt Lieber with the A's. Chrome schemes for Ron and the Pirates. Number one overall pick. And there's our second autograph, Luke Kaishal. That'll be for Ron and the Twins. Second round pick.
Max Clark. Third overall pick. That's going to be for Ron and the Tigers. We got some gold paper. Dylan Head. 48 out of 50. It's come to a head for Ron and the Padres. 25th overall pick. Late first round pick for them. And we've got some Lunar here. Colin Hawk, 115 out of 125 for Ron and the Mets. White Langford paper. be one more autograph. We've only pulled two. Is it blue? Blue auto? Yes. Blue wave autograph. Maui Ahuna. As for Ron and my rivals, the Giants. Eighteen out of one fifty. Their fourth round pick out of Tennessee. And so all the autos are accounted for unless there's bonus autos. Let's see if we have any lower numbered cards we can find out of here. Here's an Alex Ramirez to $4.99. Ron and the Mets. Wyatt Langford Chrome, Matt Shaw. Is that Wyatt Langford a variation? I feel like that's a, in my, or unless I'm psyching myself out. Has that been his picture? No, it's not. That's Wyatt Langford. So Wyatt Langford batting, that's his normal picture. Wyatt Langford, uh, I don't know, pumped up. Looks like he has a hit. He's fired up a little bit there. That must be an image variation. That's for Sean and the Rangers. Nice. We've got some Tommy Troy glass. That will be for Ron and the Diamondbacks. Colt Emerson for Seattle. That'll be for Ron as well. And last parallel, there's Max Clark, Colt Emerson, and Ty Floyd to 99. That'll be for Cincinnati, Matt, and the Reds. All right, no Paul Skeens there for you, Ron, but let's start working our way into that museum collection. Let's see what we can find for some of your other teams. We'll do a little recap at the, after the end of this break, too. All right, let's go into 2021 Museum Collection Baseball. Yeah, 
we can find some Otani in these remaining boxes, that would be awesome. mini box. Okay, let's flip through these cards here. And we've got some Alec Bohm. One out of 50. Rookie card for Ron and the uh, Phillies. Have a good evening. All right, hey, thanks everyone for taking no care of all yeah, that, man. Appreciate it. Have fun at the game. All right, now let's go through some of our hits. Behind this sketch reproduction is Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice, 29 out of 50. Your current reigning MVP, NL MVP. All right, behind Blake Snell is, wow, nice, Sweet Lou Brock. Six out of 15. Nice patch, nice auto. Going to Karen and the Cardinals. Nice. Behind Aaron Judge is a quad relic. That's a randomizer. Mike Trout, Angels. That's for Ron. Maybe not a randomizer. Ron has the Yankees. Ron has the Dodgers. Ron has the Phillies. No. The call has been overturned. It's all going to Ron. There you go, Ron. That quad relic is a good looking one. Mike Trout, Aaron Judge. Mookie Betts, Bryce Harper, that's a good quartet, 33 out of 75. Very nice, I wonder what the one of one looks like. And behind Mookie is silver ink autograph, Jesus Lazardo, archival autographs, 10 out of 249. That'll be from Matt and the A's. larger top loader. All right, here is 2022 Museum Collection Baseball. Next set of museum, good luck. 
Reggie Jackson to 150. CJ Abrams rookie cards this is A's Reggie Jackson going to Matt. All right, what's back here? Behind the Yachty sketch reproduction is Bernie Williams. Triple relic and autograph. A couple pieces of his lumber and a jersey. That's going to go out to Ron and the Yankees. 112 out of 150. Behind Juan Soto is a Jake Berger relic, 33 out of 50, piece of the lumber. That's going to go to Chicago. That'll be for Ron. Behind Blake Snell is another quad relic. Is it the same players? I think it is. But updated year. So here it is from 2021, and here it is from 2022. Same guys. They put them in different places. The Mookie's still on the bottom. Mookie and Bryce are still on the bottom here. They, they flip Trout and Aaron Judge. Obviously different pictures. There you go, Ron has all four of those teams. All right, and we got Paul Molitor archival autograph, 112 out of 125. And that'll be for Josh and the Brew Crew. All right, now let's flash forward to 2023. Final three boxes of the break. This is 2023 Topps Chrome Black. I think we got a full case of this in the store, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to do a break, a full case break of this later tonight, jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, there's Jeremy Pena, Tatis Jr. to 99 for Ron, and there's Miguel Amaya. All right, and the encased card in here. Good luck, everybody. Will be Joe Carter. 104 out of 150. Getting some nice old school guys here. That's going to be for Ron in Toronto. Nice. Sharp design. All right, let's get into some tier one. Use this blank card right here to slow play some of the hits. I think we got a bonus hit in here too. It's usually three hits. I think we got a bonus. Always nice. All right. Maybe these are, are these autographs up top. Should I grab, try to find the relic first? There it is. Paul Goldschmidt, 191 out of 400. Piece of the lumber for St. Louis. Karen with the cards. And up top is Vaughn Grissom, 40 out of 299, rookie on card autograph for Roy and the Braves. Nice. This other one is Eloy Jimenez, 135 out of 199. White Sox autograph going to Ron. And the final hit here is a piece of Miguel Cabrera's lumber, 162 out of 400. Four hits in this one. And that's Ron with the Tigers. All right, ninth and final box coming up. A couple more packs of top loaders here.
2023 Immaculate Baseball. Just six cards in here. And good luck. All right, we got a nice uh, three color patch, 33 at 35 for Chun Suk Shim. Ron with the Pirates. Two color patch and autograph, three out of 10, Wilmer Flores. Detroit. On a pretty thick card stock, too. Is that going to go to a 180? That'll be for Ron and the Tigers. Does perfect. Pretty thick card stock there. All right. And we've got a Brian Rocchio, 34 out of 99. Jersey and autograph. That's for Ron and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. Another one, a pretty, pretty heavy card stock there. We got a Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Fame relic, 14 out of 15. Houston, it's gonna be for Ron and the Astros. Game one. We got Andrew Jones, 10 out of 49, jersey and autograph. For Atlanta, Roy, the Braves. And the last one here, last one of the break is Jordan Walker. Jumbo Bat Signatures, 12 out of 25 for the Cardinals. That'll be for Karen and the Cards. Nice way to close it out, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you. Now let's do a quick little recap. Remember, this is part of the holiday mixer promo as well. Details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So whether you got a hit or not, your name is still on that big uh, randomizer list. And once we get all the requisite breaks completed, we'll randomize everyone's names and chance at some big prizes. So check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. What up, Rex? That was an image variation right there as well. That was pretty cool. Nice. There you go, gang. A nice uh, nine-box off-season baseball mixer. I'm going to see if we can run this mixer back, so keep an eye for that on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We also have an eight-box multi-year baseball mixer in the store, too. That's another one worth, uh, worth chasing after. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one.